everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to the Weeks Nest DIY. So I love books. I have an extensive collection in my home. I majored in English and I'm actually writing a book using my degree. So I thought it would be really fun to share some book related DIYs with you today. I took some books from Dollar Tree that I did not mind using to craft. So you can definitely use these ideas with books you have, but if you want the books to stay as is because you read them, just keep in mind, you may want to get some crafting books. So I hope you enjoy these and let's get started. So first up, we are going to make these feathers using some book pages. So for this, I just got a random book from the Dollar Tree, one that I didn't mind tearing the pages out of, and I'm going to tear out two pages so I can make some feathers. This is really easy. So for this, once you have your pages, you are going to fold the page in half, and then you're going to cut a feather shape, which is basically like an elongated half circle. Um, I made this a little more narrow. The original one that I did was pretty wide and it just, it didn't look right. So once I had that cut, I'm just going to cut little slits in the um, folded feather. And that is it for this. I did a larger one and then a smaller, and then I kind of just crumpled it up. Um, don't mind my nails. They are a hot mess, but real life. Um, I crumpled this up and then I took a pipe cleaner and another book page. I wrapped the pipe cleaner with some hot glue in the book page and this is going to act as the stem and I'm going to add this to a pompous grass arrangement that I have. I've been getting my pompous grass from Amazon. I have it linked down below. I really like it. Um, it sheds though so just keep that in mind. So once I had this cut I just hot glued that feather to the pipe cleaner and that is it. I like using the pipe cleaner because it's easy to kind of fold and arrange and then you have a really pretty to incorporate a book page into an arrangement. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this one. If you are not subscribed already, I invite you to do so and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video and I upload about two to three times a week so you don't want to miss those uploads. Now the next DIYs we're going to use are on the books themselves. So for the first part of that kind of stack, I'm going to take two books, one larger and one smaller and let me know in the comments if you have gotten some books from the Dollar Tree. Now I am crafting with these but I've actually found some decent like thrillers. Um, I find a lot of them are like international thrillers, but they are really good. So if you are a reader, don't forget about the Dollar Tree, both for crafting with books and for reading them. So I'm going to take an assortment of some hinge stickers. I love these. These are my absolute favorite. Every time I see them, I always get a few packs. Um, I've used them in a lot of different projects before and I think these look really pretty. They're going to give kind of like that vintage look that I'm going for. And then what I did for this was once I had the stickers on the way that I wanted, I went outside and spray painted them. The top book I spray painted a light pink and then the bottom a charcoal. And they look really pretty as is stacked. But I'm going to show you how I took some of these succul succulents. Succulents. There we go and added them to another book just to have another kind of decorative touch. And if you notice too, I have my little Edgar Allan Poe planter. I got this on Amazon and I featured it in this macrame video not too long ago, which I can link down below. And I also have the planter in the description box. I think it's super cute and I got that from Amazon. So I loved this book as is. I thought the color was really pretty. I liked the title font. So I took some of the succulents from the Dollar Tree and I just hot glued them on top of here. Now if you go on Pinterest, they have like a million different ways to hollow out a book. Um, I just did not feel like doing that. Honestly, it sounds so much easier than it is. You have to like Mod Podge the pages and then get an exacto knife and honestly, I just really like the book as is I didn't mind just adding the succulents on top So by all means you can hollow out a book add some moss and then add a floral or greenery or succulent arrangement that way But I thought this was kind of just an easy way to get the look that you want without doing all of that So let me know what you would do I know hollowing out the books is popular, but I feel like this way is just as pretty and way easier 
Now we're gonna go back to using some of those stickers and I'm gonna add them to a hardback book and I took off the sleeve for this. Now I used some of the corner kind of hinge pieces for this and one of the gemstones before I spray painted this. Um, you can hand paint these, but I suggest whatever you end up doing, whether it's hand painting or spray painting, if you're gonna add any stickers, definitely add them beforehand. It's just a lot easier to paint everything so it's one color. And then I'm gonna go back and do some dry brushing, which will highlight the grooves in the stickers. The stickers are on. I'm gonna take this outside and I spray painted everything white. Um, I spray painted the sides of this, even where the pages are, so everything was one color. I love Edgar Allan Poe. Let me know in the comments if you do too. So I made this printable, which I just ended up cutting out with my Cricut. I will link the printable down below. I apologize if there is issues with my printables, and I know I've been a little bit slow with my email. Um, just It's been like the never-ending summer of illness in my house. It's been very annoying to say the least. Um, so I'm a little bit behind, but I will get back to you eventually with the printables, and I hope that eventually the links are just easier. I don't know, they work on my end, I'm not sure why, but like I said, I use this with my Cricut, but I will link the actual printable file, so if you do not have a Cricut, you can either um, cut this out and apply it with some Mod Podge, or you can transfer it. So once I have that on, I'm first gonna take some black paint and just kind of highlight the stickers, and then I'm gonna go in with a more neutral kind of tan paint dry brush all over this just to give it a little bit of warmth and give it more of a kind of weathered vintage look. As you see, I also made sure that I went over the vinyl just so everything looked blended. And I love how this turned out. Like I said, I love Edgar Allan Poe. And I think this is a nice, I'm keeping this out year round for my bookcase, but this is also like a nice Halloween, early fall type DIY. So fall will be coming, but this is a little like preview, I guess. So next is this really easy book page planter. I took a terracotta pot from Dollar Tree. You could take any terracotta pot that you have. Um, you can use a plastic one too, but I just find that the Mod Podge adheres way better with the terracotta, but that's just my personal preference. So really easy. I just cut out some book pages, added some Mod Podge, and then not only did I Mod Podge the terracotta pot itself, but once I kind of folded the pages on and made sure that the bottom was sticking right, I also Mod Podged over the pages just so that everything was smooth and adhered. Once it dried, I just added a faux greenery that I had from Five Below, and I love how this turned out. Now, I did style this when it was a little bit wet, so you see a little bit of a bubble there. I did smooth that out when it dried and looked better, but just keep that in mind. The bubbles and kind of everything you have to smooth out, and it takes a little bit to dry. I to find a larger hardback book. This is technically like a children's book. Um, but what I did was take off the dust jacket and I'm going to lay this out so I can go out and spray paint this. And this would be great to make like a decorative coffee table book. So I opened up the book like that, took it outside and spray painted it with this Anvil chalk spray paint. And then once that dried, I found this really cool Etsy file that had a pack of 20 images that are like classic art images. So I did this Grecian woman, I love this. I did a um, gold vinyl. Now these also I believe are printables. I can link that Etsy shop down below that I use, but it's great, you get 20 images for five bucks. So I made sure that this dried overnight. I like to do that before I add any vinyl, that way the transfer tape does not tear up or chip the paint but this is so pretty. So you can have this styled on a coffee table or you can even prop this up. I have this on the very top of my bookcase. It looks really elegant and high end and you'd never guess it was a book from the Dollar Tree. 
Then of course, if you find a cover of a book that you like, you can always take off that dust jacket and then trim it to size. So I'm gonna use a five by seven picture frame insert from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use that kind of as my um, marker or tracer. Now it's late. I usually do these voiceovers early and now it's late and words are hard right now, but I'm gonna trace that cut that out and frame it. It's just a really easy way to get some artwork from a book cover. In a video a while back, I thrifted these really pretty ornate vintage frames. So another thing you can do with book pages, now you can also get book pages on Amazon. That's what I did for this project, but you can use Dollar Tree ones as well. I just found some images and I printed them out in my regular printer. And then I just inserted these in these frames. Now, of course, you can use Dollar Tree frames, frames you have, but this is another way to use a book page, whether it's one that you get from Amazon in a craft pack or one that you get from a book from the Dollar Tree or you have on hand. But this is a really pretty way to just get some nice artwork using book pages. same video I also shared this fun kind of vintage Bride of Frankenstein faux book. Now I used one of the crafting boxes but you can also do this with a book and I will link that tutorial down below. Some ideas for bookends. I did one in my recent video and I did one a while back using these Dollar Tree horses. So those videos will also be linked down below in case you are interested. So let me know in the comments what you think of these projects. I really love how they turned out. They were really easy and fun to do and I have them displayed in my home and I'm absolutely loving them. So let me know what you think. Also, if you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.